And welcome back to Open Your Eyes. We're moving now into our third and final segment for the morning. Yes. Now we've got a crowd of folks on here. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, you see it. But this segment is going to be chaired by none other than our famous, famous young host. Now we're talking about uh, AJ and Noelle. Noelle and AJ. Yes. It's all about science. We know that this is Child Stimulation Month and uh, they'll be tell uh, teaching us exactly how to do some science experiment. The man in the middle is none other than Kevin Forrester. Man, I'm making it sound like a boxing match, I have <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> but Kev, of course, is a science teacher at Nazarene High School. And, uh, yeah, it, what, what? Actually, what? Where? John Bay used to teach science. So you used to teach science. All right. Another but nonetheless, subject. he still have a teen name, man. <laughs> yeah. So therefore, he's going to do that. So are you guys ready? We're ready. April, yeah. they'll be taking things over. Are you ready to see this? I really just want to explode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Really assures me that he won't. All right, so here we go. AJ and Noelle, Noelle and AJ, it's it your away. show. Okay. All right, we're going to get into some properties of water. And we're going to go into a couple reactions that make water. So let's do one together. Noelle, AJ, you ready? Yeah. Let's do this. So go ahead and read the procedure for us. It's amazing in the last segment, the teacher mentioned sequence. We're doing the same thing. It's called procedures in science. Okay, step sure. by step. And Noelle will be reading the steps and AJ will be doing it right here. I'll just hold the water for you. Go ahead, AJ. Okay. So we'll do the second experiment. The first one. Yeah. Color bridge, right? Um, this one. So we'll be filling. Okay, so line up five cups. Well, four cups in. And then fill the cups one in, one out, which means fill the first cup, the third cup, and the fifth cup. All right, that's the first. Okay. Put it in position. Could you please pass this third cup? Thank you. This pitcher is a bit heavy. That's why I won't let you fill it right now. But you'll do everything else. And the fifth cup? And the fifth cup. Great. This experiment will take a little longer. So while we do the other experiments, we'll come back and check that one out. All right, go ahead with the other step. Right now, add blue to the first cup. Go ahead, AJ. Okay. That's a that couple of drops. One squirt. One squirt. Okay. There you go. And as you see the blue going down, that is diffusion. Mm -hmm. Diffusion. Go ahead. And then green to the third cup. More diffusion coming your way as water molecules interfere with the molecules of the food coloring. And then red to the fifth cup. Okay. And as AJ puts the red in the fifth cup, we see the fusion, which is the, one of the e pieces of evidence for the particulate nature of matter. Mm. Okay. Now we twist four napkins and put it in two cups. All right, go ahead and do the twist. So we hold it like this, and you just twist at the ends. Hold it at the end, and twist it out. Just like that, and make the bridges. This first experiment is actually called Color Bridge. Well, we named it Color Bridge. So they will create bridges with these twisted napkins. Yeah, perfect. Go ahead and insert that. And you I don't know if this will work. <laughs> insert the other. Okay. And then yeah, twist two more. As we leave this to sit as they put the bridges, we'll be noticing what we notice in plants. As water is pulled up from the roots and it rises through the stem of plants using properties of water known as adhesion and cohesion. So cohesion is when water molecules bind together. So adhesion is right? when the water molecules stick to the sides. So therefore the xylem is being represented by these twisted napkins. And we'll come back to that. We'll see what happens over time. In this second experiment, we will be doing what we call lava cup. So go ahead, Noelle, nice and lovely. Let's read the procedure as AJ does it. As both, of, in fact, I will read it and both of you do it. So take your stations. That's your oil. That's your Alcacel oil. But go ahead, AJ, go ahead and pour the oil to the level. First step is to 
add oil three fourths of the way in each cup. Yep, just pop it open. Go ahead. And this one? Let me move this out of your way. Put this in here? Yep. Okay. Two cups, one for Noelle and one for AJ. Keep on pouring until it's three fourths the height of the cup. That's some excellent pouring there. Look like that oil doesn't want to waste. <laughs> awesome. And the other cup. So Noelle, you position yourself behind that cup and you move a little bit over AJ. Or you could go to that one as well. Oh, that oil is being leveled up to the level of the other cup. In the next step, we will be adding water to one-fifth the bottom of the cup. Let's see what happens when they add the water. So grab your cup, AJ, grab your cup, Noelle. Let's add the water. Perfect, perfect. Do you see what we see? What do you see, AJ? I see two different colors down there. Two different colors. Noelle, are the layers mixing? No, they're not. Do you know why they're not mixing? I mean, look, the water is at the bottom, but the oil stays and at the top. And why is the water at the bottom? And why does the oil stay at the top? There's this big science word called density. It means the mass per unit volume of a substance. Water, in layman's term, it's heavier. So water is heavier than oil. Therefore, the water passes through the oil with its heavy self. And it sinks to the bottom, leaving the lighter, less dense oil to float on the top. But there's something else that we notice. They're not mixing. Water is what kind of sub... Could you tell them? So water is... What, what about water makes it not mix with the oil? You remember? Because water is uh, heavier than oil? It's heavier, it went down, but why didn't it mix? It starts with a P. Water is... Water. It sounds like a polar bear, but water is... Polar. 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 Meaning it has charges and I won't get too deep into the science behind it just know that part of the water is positively charged and another part of the water is negatively charged but what about oil is oil charged no no oil is not charged therefore they can't mix and for you at home for things to mix they have to be like they have to be similar since they are not similar they will not mix so now here is the exciting part okay. we're going to add some color let's add some blue so you'll be sharp boy for today and you'll be lava girl with the red. Let's add. Let's see what happens to the food coloring as they add. About 13 drops. Notice it passes through the oil seamlessly. Staying in the globules of color and it sits on top of the water. Why? Because the water has that surface tension it has hydrogen bonds that holds that surface notice they hardly go to the bottom but when they break a bit through the water surface then diffusion happens in the water diffusion does not happen in the oil water is the universal of it now as that wow your your red one really sits on the top I know. so we'll just tap it a bit <laughs> to let the diffusion happen at the bottom all right just Add a there. couple more drops. Couple more drops to let your red reach the bottom. Yeah, let it drop there. And I'll just mix it to make sure that the red gets in there. Just ensure that the red gets in there. All right. Because notice the red will not go into the oil, it will it go down. Like now, <laughs> with that, here is. Now we're going to add a secret ingredient. What is that? Alka seltzer. Alka seltzer one. So go ahead. And then as the process happens, just know that the main ingredient in each tablet of Alka seltzer is sodium bicarbonate, known as the health salt. The health salt. Let's see what happens when we add sodium bicarbonate into this. 
Nothing happened when it passed through the oil, but what are we noticing now? There it goes. Oh, no. We are there making goes. lava cups. Oh. There it goes. Things are moving up. Why are things moving up? Um. Because the sodium bicarbonate in the alka seltzer is releasing what? If you could. Carbon focus dioxide. in on this it's releasing what say it, tell them carbon dioxide. yes correct carbon dioxide when the sodium bicarbonate which is na8co3 reaches the water notice it made no reaction in the oil Look at this. but when it reached the water it produced the sodium hydroxide and carbonic acid which is h2o3 but H2O3 carbonic acid is unstable, so it quickly breaks into CO2 gas and water. So what caused all that fizzing and to show this beautiful lava lamp or cup display? The carbon dioxide rising. That release. So there are two reactions that happened here simultaneously. And there it is for the shark boy lava cup and the lava girl lava cup. And it's would, still fizzing. I wish I could drink these. No, you don't want to drink those. No, and as we move to the third experiment, go ahead and slide over. Okay. We are going to do a little bit more eruption mm -hmm. as we get into this project called Mini Volcanoes. Okay. Now, you two grab your stations. Let me move this out of the way for now. Let me give you all your food colorings. So, each of you will have four food colorings, yellow, blue, red, and green. Mm -hmm. So you have yellow, green, you need your blue. Here you go. All right, so I'll just grab this. I'll go ahead and read the procedure and then you go ahead and do them. All right. Now, what do we do first? We flip these around. Yeah. Of course, we turn the cups mm -hmm. over and we add what? Some baking, soda. baking soda also known as the health salt what's the health salt again sodium bicarbonate na8co3 let's use a spoon, spoon yeah just three go ahead that's your spoon and that's her spoon okay yeah go ahead all right yeah. so they're adding like three tablespoons in each cup so this will just take a little bit of addition Go ahead. Oh, I'll just no. put it this way to let it let me just slide this down. Uh-huh. As they they're so meticulous, they're so careful. And that's what you have to do when be when you do these carry out these procedures. Alright, go ahead. You have your fill? Yeah. Man, AJ, you wasted no time. Just add a little bit more. Get a scoop while she scoops out. Of course, we're trying to conserve materials. We didn't buy two arm and hammer because we don't want to waste the material. And in chemistry, you want to economize. You don't want to waste materials in science experiments. All right. So are we filled up yet? Almost. Almost. And then we'll add like three squirts of each food coloring in each cup right on top of the Na8CO3, this baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. All right, so you need one more spoon here and one more spoon there and you'll be set. All right, yeah, steady hands, go ahead. All right, all right, squirt your colors. Squirt your colors. Okay. Thank you. And you could put it in any order. Three Let's squirts. do three squirts. Well, that goes by drop, so a lot more. More, uh -huh. more like six, since it's not going out squirt like. Only drops. All right, so six drops. All right, each color, six drops. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, two, three. In fact, we could even put nine, but go ahead. Ah, that one squirts. Yeah. Lovely. So we're adding food coloring now to this baking soda, the NA8CO3. And nothing is happening so far. 
So something needs to activate it. And we'll be using our good household chemical vinegar. Vinegar has ethanoic acid in it, also known as acetic acid. So it's an acid from this vinegar that will be reacting with this sodium bicarbonate in this neutralization reaction to make water. So when you're done, now this is the moment you're waiting for, so please focus in. Ladies and gentlemen, take off your caps. Let me help you there. Oh, you got it? I know you're strong. All right. Remember what we practiced with the pouring. Oh, let me help you. Sorry about that, Noelle. Lava girl needs a little help. Here we go. All right. Go ahead and pour one to the next. One to the next, keep on pouring. Go, 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 go. All right, go a second round. Go a second round. And as you could see, as they pour, it's fizzing over and it's producing the same carbon dioxide that we talked about. Here's baking soda, NaHCO3, plus the acetic acid from the vinegar, CH3COOH, combining to produce the sodium ethanoic the uh, sodium ethox no, ethoxide, sodium uh, ethanoate, yes, sodium ethanoate salt, water, and carbon dioxide gas. And of course, the carbon dioxide gas produce that overflowing volcano effect that you notice. And as we finally wrap it up and go back to the first one, we, we let's check it out, guys. Noelle and AJ, we see that in the color bridge so some yeah go ahead and explain what you see it's already starting to come to the other cup exactly so what happened to the water in cups the liquid in cups one two and one three and five they went through the through adhesion and cohesion, capillary movement, and what happened to cups two and four. They would start to get, as you notice in this one, see, water is ending up in cup two, and cup two originally didn't have any. And this is how water rises with the properties of water. So we thank you for watching the experiments. And if you got questions, we've got answers. All right, man, we, we I'll tell you what, we enjoyed that. Uh, there were a lot of oohs and ahs. <laughs> <laughs> April was in the back there, ooh and ah. <laughs> So AJ, Noelle, and of course Kev, we want to thank you so very much for joining us this morning. This actually brought us back to, you know, back in the days of school. Yeah, we're sitting here paying a full full yeah. attention. You should have you should have heard mom saying, oh, man, I don't have to man, it's been a while. <laughs> kids learn new words. But this is how you stimulate the kids. Uh, oh, this is child stimulation, man. And so therefore, you're at home, then what you do is that you try to find some some nice easy Please, ways to yeah. try to stimulate them. Get them educated in new things. Anything that you know, anything yeah. that you can remember from back in These the day. These are things that you find at home. Today. Indeed. Um, you got oil. Yeah, oil, vinegar. You must got oil, because it's a Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Water. You know, you know, you know. We've got some baking soda for sure. And we've got water at home. Yes. All right. So these are the things that you need. Very easy. You could watch this segment back again and uh, learn from it. Practice and then, of course, kids. you practice right there at home yeah. with the children. And that's going to do it for this segment as well. we got to take the break. When you come back, we'll be wrapping things up. Stay with us. We will be right back. Right back. <laughs>